Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Amelia, Jessica, and Lucy. How does it feel to be in the top 15 of Comedy Coup? For you. <laughs> 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 Everybody dance. Yeah, exactly. Dance, 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 dance. Yeah. yeah, no, it feels great. Yeah. It feels really great. And uh, we've just sort of been, we've been celebrating, but also working. It's been nonstop as it has been since the beginning of Comedy Coup started, yeah. what, seven, eight weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. And you two are the lead actresses. We spoke last night at t the TIFF Light Box. Um, Amelia, tell me how you got involved as a writer producer. I know you had a life in the circus before right. entertainment. <laughs> I feel like I'm sort of like making that sound more extensive than it was, but uh, I mean, it was my childhood. I was in a circus, it was, that's true. Um, I've been working in reality TV for a long time and then I wanted to do some stand-up comedy, so I did a class and I met Lucy. And then I sort of finished my contract where I was, so I had some time and Lucy gave me a call and said, we're gonna do this comedy group thing, it's this great idea. And I was like, it sounds crazy, no. <laughs> She's like, but you have to, because what else are you doing? And I was like, no. Thing. <laughs> Damn it! I'll do it! So then, yeah, and I had no idea it was going to be as extensive as it's been. Yeah. Yeah, that I don't think all of us can agree. Yeah. It's just been an absolute like whirlwind, but it's been very, very creative rewarding, creatively rewarding. Yeah. Yeah. Not so much financially rewarding at yeah. yet at this stage, yeah. but that's yeah. not to say that it won't be more financially rewarding in the future. Yeah. And you ladies have, you know, you explore life after 30 and what that's all about. But tell me a little bit more about your wacky characters. I've been watching your missions and, you know, you seem very zen and you seem very crazy. <laughs> so tell me how you came up with that. Uh, well, basically, we came up with this idea. It's loosely based on experiences that we've had in our own lives. Um, you know, when we wanted to create this show, we wanted to create a show with two strong female characters um, and, uh, and that sort of where it, the birth of it came from. And then when we brought Amelia on board, um, we started to explore the world of, um, of where these characters live. And there's two sort of narrative settings. One, um, the character that I play, Charlie, also works at a mascot and prop store. So it's sort of like her dream to be an actress, but um, the biggest acting role she has is sort of like handing out flyers at wearing a bear suit. Mm -hmm. And so this is this, like, and the, the store <laughs> like revolves around a lot of different characters that we've all sort of like created over over time, or Amelia and I have been, uh, when we were writing the pilot, we had a lot of fun discovering these sort of new, um, really wacky characters that sort of like really complement our, our relationship as well. And then the other narrative setting takes place in um, Yoni's apartment, played by Jessica. And she could tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yoni is, is a socialite um, who is bored with her life and looking for a social life. <laughs> basically and uh, and you know Charlie and her are, are besties yeah. and she kind of I think lives vicariously through Charlie a little bit because Charlie is always up to exciting things and mm -hmm. even though I'm kind of this trust fund she baby mm -hmm. I don't really have anything going on and so I kind of just want to go along with whatever she's doing I will go to any sort of social function whether it's a Holt Renfrew fashion show or lesbians for politics potluck yeah. or AA or whatever social functions <laughs> happening girlfriend is there yeah. <laughs> and she's what's, that, what's Yoni's relationship relationship with men there, Jess. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> no more narcissist man babies. There's no milk, so get off my nipple. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they love to talk about that. Yeah. Um, I would say you know I think for all of us we're all post thirty and none of us sort of have lived to the script of what you know society t tells us that thirty should be like. You know we're not married, we don't have kids, we don't have mortgages yet. We're sort of just still figuring it out, well into our thirties. So we just <laughs> decided to uh, you know to write about that and like what sort of experiences do the what does the 30 year old woman have when she's not following this like script that other people seem to be following absolutely and i've heard that the uh, comedy coup audience is largely female i that's super surprising to me tell me a little bit about that well we were at the canadian television festival last night and jay jolly the ceo of um comedy coup w gave a presentation and one of the things that he mentioned that it, the audience is 60 percent female for the for the competition and so it it was really, I don't know, it was really important for, for me uh, when we, when, and Jess, especially when we first looked into Charlie and Yoni to create a team that had all females. So we really had a 
female perspective on the, the, the comedy, especially physical comedy. We wanted mm-hmm. to sort of, not that we were trailblazing, there's a lot of really great female comedians out there. Yes. We just wanted to sort of like, as we say in our videos, we just wanted to yes and that. And with the Canadian voice is mm-hmm. essentially, so we know there's, there's great strides making and, you know, with uh, female creators and we can name off shows. We don't have to, we all know what they are, you know, girls and Orange is the New Black and whatnot. But, uh, you know, there is a little bit of like a, of a, there's, I'll just, I can keep going. Yeah. I'll just, um, but you know, I, I would say in Canada, we, we haven't seen as many, as much as that mm-hmm. quite yet. So we just sort of wanted to yes and, it's an improv term, that for a, a Canadian audience. And this story to me is so much about friendships between women, which is really important, especially when you're single, you know, you need to have yeah. your ladies. But how much fun have you guys been have making this as three young women? It's been, uh, it's been, you know, there's, there's a lot, there's that, that, <laughs> yeah, we're like, <laughs> and uh, no, but I mean, there is, there's so much laughing and there's so much, yeah. you know, Amelia and Lucy are doing the writing and stuff and, and then, you know, I sit and they tell me about what's happening and I'm like, I sit there howling and I'm like, oh no, you didn't, or like, you know, and, and they're, and they're so great and they're such smart writers and when we're filming, like, we have so much fun and, and getting the props together and coming up with these, like, these wacky characters and living in them. I mean, how can we, we just sit there and we're like, yeah, you got it. Or like, you got that one. That was amazing. It's, it's, yeah. it's weird because we will, Amelia says that she hates my writing face because like we'll be writing no, and she's like, I don't. Lower. No, no. I said that I, her writing face sometimes, like if I'm pitching an idea to Lucy, <laughs> an idea she tells like, me she's just like thinking, but this is her face. It's not. Do it, do it. It's not. It's more like, that's a great idea. <laughs> That's my face. Um, yeah. No, we, uh, well, Amelia and I kind of have, we both sort of like, came, we all came from Vancouver, but I'm, uh, Jess kind of makes fun of us because we kind of are very similar in our, like, they we're are. kind of spacey and we're both vegetarian and vegan and it's just like not much going on sometimes in our cohesive sentences and Jess is like, oh God. So we write Jess, together. Use your words. Use your words. <laughs> use your words. Uh, but it's good because we do uh, like 99% of the time we just, we know exactly what we're, we're both both sort of like aiming to the same joke. So it really helps having yeah. a, like a really collaborative feeling in the writing. Like when we write together, it's mm-hmm. a really good experience. Jess actually. is sort of our anchor, I would say in yeah. a way, like no matter what, Jess is like, guys, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> yes. And we're just like, what do you mean? It's going to yeah. be fine. It's so crazy, everything. And she's like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Mama, it's yeah, Mama yeah. Jess has yeah, got it. Good. Yeah, she's good. And where's the best place for us to get involved and to vote and support you guys online? Yeah, if you go to Charlene Yoni's page on Comedy Coup, uh, and it takes two seconds to sign up, and you click the follow button, which is a paw, a little yes. paw, Aww. a little... That's so cute. Canadian. I know, it's so Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, click the follow button, and then you can rate us and comment, and all of our teasers are 90 seconds. Um, and uh, perfect it's perfect for the shortest yeah span. exactly yeah. it's great for this modern day and age yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and we're also on Twitter we're on Instagram we have a Facebook page and the handle is Charlie and Yoni okay. yeah well thank you so much and congrats on making the top 15 thank, thank, you. You. thank you thanks, thanks for having us thank you. thank you I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto mm-hmm.